Okay. So going right into that, I'm sure that EJ probably had, you know, a lot of the mental fortitude or trying to have mental fortitude to bounce back. So let's our little golf thought of the day here today. When you have a tough hole, what is the importance of a bounce back hole and what is your mental strategy to it? You know, like what, what, what going, what's going through your mind of, okay, you just double bogey a hole that you yeah. have consistently birdied or par. I mean, you always want to avoid those big numbers, try to limit it to bogey, but it's not always possible. And it's just like, I don't know. I almost try to then approach the next hole as like, not necessarily thinking of it as bogey or double or par, but thinking like, okay, let's just, let's make a five here, whatever that is. Sure. So say you like you double bogey to a par five and it's a seven. It's like, okay, even if it's a par three, like let's like let's get back to making fives. Like that's yeah. what you got to do to get under ninety, mm-hmm. and just trying to focus. Do whatever you need to do to get the ball closer to the hole, like decade golf style, and sure. just. I mean that's the whole point of you know, like like people say with the the best best athletes in any sport is a short term memory, right? Yeah, you know you don't see you didn't ever see Kobe or Jordan or LeBron they miss a jump shot and they're not gonna let that get in their head. They're gonna go shoot twenty five more in a game and just forget about the you know that one. Tiger talks about it all the time. It's like yeah, so what you bogey? You're gonna let it be a trickle down effect and you're gonna go bogey everything else. You gotta go play for par. You gotta go play for you know play your game. Um, yeah, bogeys so, won't take you out of it. It's yeah. just. You know the triples happen. I mean, that look at how often these pros they'll they'll still make double here and there. Well, and it's, got like didn't Ricky shoot like an eight or a nine at one in one of the championships there because he kept going in the water. Probably that happened. One I mean, of, especially at Augusta, that happens a bunch. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna let it ruin you. I mean, it's gonna be upsetting. I sure, mean, think of how often the pros will do it, and then you know they'll take a ten and a par five, and then they'll go and ace the next par three. Right. And they just right fully clear the mind yeah. reset and and go which to. is extremely difficult to do but but that's a, that's something that's a lot of things that you know that the most most of the amateur golfers like us aren't doing they're not like going out there they're like oh man i should have birdied this but i got a double bogey i'm like no you probably won't birdie it because you know you're not good at golf and neither are we but it's just like you know when we have those yeah. competitive ones where it's like you know you you miss like a three foot slider that you know you've hit a billion times, you're like, damn, bro. So just go out and just, you know, just lace the next fairway. Forget about it. That's what <laughs> yeah. you got to do. It's it's even hard to do it when it's in tournament play and just, like, mm-hmm. you start thinking, you know, scoreboard watching and stuff like that, and it's just... You score, are you a scoreboard watcher? No. Yeah. I stopped doing that, especially, like, with disc golf. We have, like, live scoring that we do. Dude, I don't pay attention to it at all anymore. Yeah. Cortland qualifier didn't at all. Uh, at Winoa, I did it the turn because I knew I was like, I got to, if I got to like get aggressive, this is, I got to know sure. now, but then it was like, okay, whatever, let's just enjoy the rest of this round and kind of like, uh, get out of the way of the, the other, there was one guy in my group playing really well and it's like, that's what you try to do. What was it? Uh, the Cam Young had that 59 and you can kind of see Spieth yeah. had what Spieth shot like a 77 that day mm-hmm. or something. And it was like, he was just trying to get out of his way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like someone throwing that no header. Right. It's just like, you just keep doing your thing. Yeah. You know, you got to play your shot. Just get out of their way. Yeah. Which is cool. So yeah, you know, over here, face the bogeys. We're mentally tough. You know, we might not be the best, but we've got experience making big numbers. <laughs> <actually>. <laughs> <laughs> we've got experience making big numbers then dropping back and making slightly less bigger numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.